Tara Patton here, and I just had the most powerful 45 first minutes with Steve Zapato. But you have to start carving it out. Well, the reason I did this is we watch a comedian that says, you gotta focus, you know, he's talking to his kids, you gotta focus, you gotta focus. <laughs> And hi, I'm Steve Sapato and your host for Speaker Talks a Speaking Podcast. World's best chili. Oh, I gotta look at it. Looked at it, said, oh, I gotta send that to my wife. Forward it to my wife. My wife responds with, what's wrong with my chili? <laughs> <laughs> And they go, well, you don't understand my material. My, mater my material is so boring. I go, no, your material is dry. You're boring. <laughs> That's the Ouch. truth of it. Uh, most odd famous, famous speaker, and there's no such thing as a boring person. I wasn't listening to you. Um, <laughs> they're just, I mean, there's no boring text. There's just boring people. I thought that, I agree. That's profound. That, you know, that, that's just it, yep. yeah. A lot of people say, well, my material's boring. I go, no, your material's <laughs> dry, but you're boring. <laughs> Talk to your audience. Stop being boring by learning how to be a great presenter. If your ego is such that it's in the way of your future, then you're going to suffer the consequence. How many times have you sat in a meeting? How many times have you sat in, a, you know, in an auditorium? and gotten bored to death because the people were talking about themselves. 17.5 seconds. That's but I get a whole minute. I, that's the beauty of it. Do you not get it? See ya. Oh, I'll fill it in with, so I'm a mother of five. I get a minute. Sure. Shouldn't I take a whole minute? You ever been eaten by a frog? Nobody's been <laughs> eaten by a frog, right? That doesn't happen. But boy, I'll tell you what, sometimes when you see a big enough frog, you ever seen a big enough creature that you scared yourself with it? <laughs> could have been a big spider, could have been. Right? So you you capture people's attention mm -hmm. with sometimes absurd thoughts, even by a frog. Quit it. Donations type things. So they were a not-for-profit. And they got up to say thank you to all the people who were there to help them support them. And they only have like 10 minutes. And they spent eight minutes telling us about their organization. We didn't come to learn about their organization. What they should have spent is eight minutes teaching us about who their clients, who they serve, why it makes us feel good to give our money. And so when she asked for donations at the end, we all kind of went, I gotta go. Mm. Because she didn't capture us. Yeah, so that emotional connection, right? Absolutely. That